Aus dem Dunkel, Out of Darkness. The main title is Out of Darkness. It's a guide to success, but a guide with a different kind. Integral science is fundamental. Success is not trimmed in one direction. For example, financial success, or a positivistic mindset, or a kind of imagination power, or a kind of magic thinking. Altogether, there is a huge number of ideas about success. And anyone who thinks they were successful could write their own success guide. Anyway, my body of literature deals with deep psychology. One could also call it proto-ontological new existentialist. Existence is what remains of men, after everything subjective has been taken away from them. Or call it metaphysical, phenomenological. Either way, out of darkness describes a gesture. And that's really all, an attitude. The attitude of elegance. Elegance that according to the observation is a fundamental structural pattern inherent to the world. In other words, where is a lack of elegance, there is a lack of real success, a lack of down-to-earth attitude, a lack of inspiration, power knowledge, and fulfillment. As well, elegance implies regard, attention, and respect, first of all, towards oneself. Just yesterday, I spent a day in a public spa. I noticed that even in traditional Hungary, 70% of the people have tattoos. Some of them use them across their forehead or sideways down to their temples and their neck. More and more are completely tattooed, so that only the navel is exposed. I don't really think that this has anything to do with self-respect. This is more of a kind of compulsion for self-assertion. A fashion dictate, a big drop, a cultural appropriation, you might say, but I won't. Everyone can do whatever they want to do with themselves. For my part, I never wanted to be subject to any compulsive dictates. The whole tattoo culture seems anti-elegant to me, especially those who have done Satan's head on their chests. I took a pic of one. He sits at the table with his Satan's head on his chest, and in front of him there are two sweet flower arrangements. Isn't that ridiculous? If you ask me, this falls in the category cocky jobs. Es ist eben nicht elegant. Das erscheint mir anti-elegant. The whole coolness society limits itself. With coolness people inhibit themselves. No authenticity, no spontaneity. No flow, no life, no vibes, no openness. There is hardly more left than, how we psychologists call it, the insisting me. Be that as it may. For sure, elegance is a real door opener. Real self-love comes from elegance. It has a lot to do with tenderness with attractiveness. Anap in Buddhism, Gautama's most important code of behavior. Mindfulness, dedication, respect. This is the key that opens up the world. This is what the real cordon opens behind the stage. With what the real scenario becomes visible. Who is pulling the strings? What moves the world and holds it together? Now you don't just sit in the audience and watch the drama. You can see both sides of the scenario, how they work together, including myself, integral, super existentialist, proto-depth, psychological, or you say, new metaphysical or ontological, the great AI, the universal grid. Keywords, the Kafka code, the George Grove effect, the path behind all paths, titles of my most liked integral exhibitions. This is where the deep, the full life stems from. That's where the greater picture can be found. There, the meaning is birth. Direction, destiny, history, planet, truth. You can find everything there. Success awaits you there. But in the world of tattoos, I fear, you can find rather little. Usually, nothing else than consumer addiction. Score! <laughs> hey, buddy, check it out. I already ate, like, four burgers, three fries, and um, six milkshakes. Cool. <laughs> Ladies, beware. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Yeah? Nihilism. <laughs> Nihilism. The negation of meaning and purpose. You will never feel consistent if you don't find your purpose. It's a purely external thing, the tattoo and the world of tattoos. People talk a lot about individualization. Tattoos would be an expression of individuality. 
but when the majority has tattoos, how can this be an expression of individuality? Yesterday, in the public bath, I saw a single young woman with a book in hand. For me, this is an expression of individuality. In this regard, one should not follow the side guys too much, otherwise they could go crazy, jump off the wheel of time, and before those people go completely mad, they put everything aside. Then there is no longer any meaning, no value, no purpose, no respect, nothing is left at all but their ego. Ja, was, was sucht eine Frau? Was sucht, eine Frau sucht eine Sicherheit, die kriegt es bei mir nicht. Ja. Aber ein Abenteuer, ja. eine schnelle Nummer und weiter, und die kriegt es bei mir. Schaut einmal hinten an, Disneyland für Drehkunde, und weiter. Ein, ja, ein falsches Ego. Their false ego, an idealized, pompous image of themselves. That should give them better cards in their fight for power. Ich lieb keinen so wie mich, tut mir leid, ich bin ein Ego. For us, it is not about fighting and exploiting each other. For us, it is about the strife for growth. Our own growth and the growth of whom we can inspire instead of tearing each other down. We are Democrats, a future positive. Keine Arschloten, ein Arschlokraten heißt. So ein Rodi! Ey, du Krass, so ein Was fällt dir denn eigentlich ein? Kannst du nicht aufpassen? Hast du keine Gluren im Kopf? Na du, kannst auch nicht haben! Die Eleganz. The elegance. The habitus, the elegant person's demeanor, opens a lot. The booklet, Out of Darkness, it's no more than 50 pages. You can do it on one day and it can open up the world to you. So clear that the scales will fall from your eyes and then you won't see anything again because of the big mountains of scale in front of you. Two, elegance is the secret of spirituality. This tender, mindful way inside can open up to you many things, the whole life. Elegance provokes mindfulness, maybe not with these tattoo people, but I don't know how they're supposed to help you along, where they can take you to. Maybe, indeed, to the tattoo studio. Anyway, elegance holds a good deal of secrets. It opens doors and gates of which you never thought they would be open to you. Elegance is a ritual. If you practice it, if you stick to it, if you keep remembering it, then it manifests for you. Thus, there are many interesting things and aspects about elegance. I came across and recorded in my book. For example, that elegance comes from the inside. If I have elegance in me, I dress myself elegantly. However, there are many types of elegance. Even the rocker wants to sit elegantly on his Harley. There are different styles and expressions of elegance. May everyone find their own style. Indeed, even those tattoo people. I've been watching this very closely around our headquarters in LA. Tattooed people act and dress particularly elegantly. Obviously, this has already been integralized to there. They are fully tattooed and act like movie stars, carefully, dignified. We see elegance is an individual matter. Even tattooed people can adapt elegance for themselves. Therefore, elegance comes from the inside, but it can also come to us from the outside. What I mean is, if I try and accept elegance as a ritual, if I'm mindful and my movements are fluid so that I don't do violence upon myself, I feel good with myself so that nothing can put me off, that I realize that the habit is inside me, then the external gesture of elegance is manifested. Even the mind gets elegantized. I don't think there's a word for it yet, when something becomes elegant. Then cognitions and ideas find together to something greater. 
potentials are released, the senses will sharpen, a number of unseen doors open, 50 small pages that can be done in one day, a day that can enchant your entire life. Out of Darkness, Power and Secrets of Elegance, by George M. Grohl on Amazon Kindle. Thank you.